As the federal government has been implored by some financial investors to step in in regulating the foreign exchange investment market in Nigeria. Leading foreign investment firm MBA Forex and its partners AFX Group UK and Fintech Global Markets gave the charge during the Financial Investors Summit held in Lagos. The experts who spoke during a panel session noted that for institutional mechanism to drive a profitable forex trading and investment business, the government must play its part to set regulation for the market. The head business development AFX Group, Claude Havard, and his colleague, head of back office Natalia Stetko, said the rules put in place by government will help protect investors in the market. Other experts, Maxwell Odum and country manager, engineer Joel Ladoki, underscore the need for Nigeria to explore foreign exchange investment initiative moving away from oil marketing. For the government, let's say, to balance to some extent, let's say, the source of income for the country, except of the central bank printing money and also the country collecting taxes from the people, we found that, let's say, the knowledge and the new opportunity on the financial market can offer to people a way out to some extent in regards to diversifying, let's say, uh, their investments. And also the, the country, maybe at the government level, to start diversifying uh, their source of income from oil to services. And why not services in the financial sector? Minimize the risk. This is why government has to regulate Forex. Because it's much better to keep under control what is happening to set up some specific rules that brokers will follow in order to avoid to manipulate with uh, people uh, investments. So with, uh, to, con to, to check, to keep under control possible risk involved in this activity. Uh, this is the time for us to change the narrative like I've always said. Um, looking at our economic uh, downtime, reception all over the world. So it's coming at this point that where we need to give financial stability in our economy, in our individual lives, and you know, making sure that everyone will have the opportunity to gain financial freedom. Everyone needs to come and participate and see how you can gain value. This is an opportunity that that is coming to us in Africa, especially in Nigeria, and the biggest of its kind in the whole of West Africa. Everything with every discussion of today is centered around risks and money management. That is the, 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 the best thing that will happen to any investor in our country because we have had so many schemes and, and businesses that came up and then rip up the people. And if government did not do something about it, I think the people at some point are going to lose confidence both in the private sector and also the, gov the governmental sector. The Chairman Anti-Corruption and Transparency Unit State House, Ahmed Suleiman, and the Chief Operating Officer, Ede Peters, stressed the importance of the initiative to end youth unemployment in Nigeria. I've seen all the tools, all the arrangements they made to give youth training, which of course is very amazing, is very wonderful. It, it will go a long way in at least giving opportunity to young Nigerians to train themselves to be able to stand on their own. So we are, we are talking to the Nigerian youth. MBA stands for the Nigerian youth. And that is why when you look at our vision and our mission, we talk of empowering the people. We have, that is why we have the educational aspect where people can learn. You know, in other words, I was told few, that was last year precisely, are you aware that Obafaville Awolovo University brought in experts from Ukraine to train the, the, her master's degree holders about forest? 